Hi there, my name's Andy Hillier, and another wicked tune for you today. It's Rock and Roller by Calio. Um, I just heard this the other day, I thought, oh, wicked tune, someone requested it. So I've written it all out, I'm gonna teach you how to play it, but just before I do, if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my channel, which is Andy Hillier, give me a like on the video, press the notifications buttons so you can see when my new videos come out. And if you love what I'm doing, you wanna support me, support the channel, and you want the tabs for this and loads of other songs, then you can support me on my Patreon page. And uh, don't forget to leave me some comments in the comment section as well. My guitar is in standard tuning and I've got loads of gain using a Sir Riot pedal. Okay, the riff sounds like this. <laughs> Okay, so to play that, we're gonna do a really fast hammer-on from E3 to A5. If you struggle to do that hammer-on, just play the E5, it'll sound cool as well. But it just adds an extra little bit if you do the hammer-on. Then E3, open E, so you got. Then A3, you're gonna bend it a little bit out of tune. And then E5. So bar one slowly. And up speed. Into bar two and you've got. So it's a fast slide up to fret seven from fret five on the A string. So five to seven. And then slide back down. So we then pull off to fret three. So it goes. So you don't really hear that first five, you, you kind of just hear the seven, five, and the three. But we do slide up from fret five. There's another one of those fast hammer-ons from fret three to fret five on the A string. So. And then A3, bend it out of tune. So bar two. Up speed. So bars one and two, slowly go. And up speed. Bar number three starts the same as bar one, but jumps up to A5. So. And then you can do another one, two, three, four hits. And then fret A3. And again, another little blues curl bend it out of tune. Okay, so let's put the whole line together. Up speed, one. Two, three, four. So that's the riff that keeps repeating. Like I say, if you struggle to do those quick hammer-ons, just play the fret five, don't play the little three. Um, and that'll make it slightly easier. And that'll sound like this. Still sounds cool, right? Okay, that's a riff that works through the um, chorus. I will be showing you it up an octave a little bit later on as well. Uh, but for now, it repeats that and then goes to the verse, and the verse sounds like this. Okay, so an A chord, first finger barred across all the strings on the fifth fret, second finger G6, third finger a7, little finger D7. If you wanted to, you could play it with just a normal, like easy A chord, but I'm doing it how they play it with these bar chords. So you hit the A chord, with one hit, stab it. Move that down two frets, and you've got G. So first finger on fret three, bar and across, second finger G4, third finger A5, little finger D5. One hit on that. Again, you could replace it for a normal G chord. And then it goes to a D chord, First finger A5, third finger flat across D, G and the B strings at the seventh fret. Eight hits on that. And then it goes A, 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 G, A. So 
the same chords that we did before on the offbeat it goes A, 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 down to G and then when it repeats it will hit another A chord so go and that's like the first A of the line hopefully that makes sense um, so let's just play that line twice through here we go one, two, three, four two, three, four two, three, four Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Okay, so that repeats in the verse, and then there's a little bridge, a little build after the second verse. So this verse happens, it then goes back to the riff for the chorus, the that part, that's the chorus, and then there's another verse, and then after the second verse, there's this little bridge, an extra little build, where you got So that, we've got an E chord, first finger A7, third finger flat across D, G and the B strings at the ninth fret. Uh, two bars of that, so 16 hits. Move down two frets to a D, and you're gonna hit it nine times again. Okay, so that little bridge part, just after the second verse, before the next chorus goes, a one, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Um, and then that just goes back uh, into like a solo, guitar solo, where you can just improvise using A minor pentatonic scale over the top. Um, and then the riff in the outro um, is playing it more prominently up an octave. So it sounds like this. So to play that, we're going D5, quick hammer on to D7, then D5, A7, G5, little blues uh, bend out tune, then back to the D7. So. Then we're going to slide from G7 up to G9 really quick, slide back down to 7, pull off to 5, then a quick hammer on from 5 to 7, and then G5, bend in. So bars uh, 13 and 14 go. Bar 15 starts the same as bar 13. Then it goes to G7 and does the five hits on it and then plays a G5. A little bend out of tune as well. So the riff up an octave, uh, which happens in the outro, goes. And then this last line, just at the very end, it, it basically gonna just play the, the riff all the way through. Um, and then the very end just goes. Well, you're just hitting an E chord, it's lasting longer than um, a bar. You just hold it on, you'll hear it. And then a D chord, the note A3 bends out of tune and then it just hits uh, an A chord to finish. And that's the whole song. Well, I do hope you've enjoyed that guitar lesson and found it useful, especially the person who requested it. Thanks for the request, because actually I love this song. I haven't heard this song before. Uh, so yeah, cool track. If you have enjoyed this video, if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my channel, it really does help me out, as does giving me a like on the video. It just helps me get some more views. Um, leave me some comments in the comment section, even if it's just to say hi, it really does help. Um, and if you love what I'm doing, you want to support me, support the channel, keep me doing this and you want the tabs for this and loads of other songs, then you can support me on my Patreon page. A link to that is in the description. Well, thanks for watching this. I do really appreciate it. I've been Andy Hillier and I'll see you next time.